who is in your inner circle? And more importantly, are they helping you propel forward in life? Or are they actually holding you back? Hi, if you're new to the channel, my name is Tay from Financial Tortoise, a channel dedicated to helping the standard generation master money and achieve financial security. Jim Rohn, the motivational speaker said famously, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Our inner circles consist of people who not only occupy our time, but also influence our minds and our daily behaviors. So if your inner circle is made up of people who are money conscious and focus on growing their net worth, it is highly likely that you will follow similar habits. However, if your inner circle is made up of people with not so smart money habits and they aren't focused on growing themselves or their net worth, it is a matter of time before these habits rub off on you. And interestingly, sometimes we do this intentionally, unconsciously. Because I don't feel comfortable about money, we may subconsciously surround ourselves with people who have bad money habits. This can either make us feel better about ourselves because we're at least not as bad as them, or even possibly trick ourselves into believing that we're actually good with money. Hey, I know more about investing than my friends, so I must know what I'm doing, right? But if we want to attain wealth and success in our lives, we must be very selective of who we allow into our inner circle. Even a few bad apples can cost us dearly in the long run. So in this video, I wanna discuss the general traits of people who we don't want in our inner circle, as well as people we do want. And if you watch until the end, I'll share with you my secret to how I found my ultimate inner circle that helped me to propel forward in my financial journey. So first, let's start out by seeing what type of people we don't want in our inner circle. The common trait of people who will have a negative influence in your future are individuals who are generally filled with pessimism and negative outlook in life. They see themselves as victims in most situations and believe that either the society as a whole or someone is holding them back. Some common statements that you will hear from them are, there's never enough. They live with a scarcity mindset. They believe wealth is scarce and they are always in the wrong end of the stick. See, it never works out. They're focused on finding problems rather than solutions. To them, the whole world is full of problems and they're helpless to them. There is no hope. They see no future, or more specifically, no hope for the future. This keeps them from pursuing their dreams or furthermore, even having dreams. I want it now. They seek immediate gratification. They're very short-term focused, not willing to look at or invest in the long-term gain. As you can guess, this kind of mindset is detrimental to growing your wealth. Why save? You live once, right? I don't have any problems. You do. Insecurity runs high for them, and it's really hard for them to admit their problems, and more importantly, hear or seek feedback. This drives them to pretend to be someone they're not, and as you can imagine from a financial perspective, they often mask these insecurities with false expressions of wealth. Sadly, when I reflect on these quotes and traits, it reminds me of myself actually. As an immigrant, as someone who didn't have a lot of money growing up, and someone with a chip on his shoulder, I struggled with insecurities and short-term gratification for many years. You can pretty much sum up my 20s here. However, what allowed me to overcome many of these traits was my inner circle. King Solomon wrote, he that walks with wise men shall be wise. So starting in my 30s, I started to really guard my mind against negative influences. I became ultra protective of my mind and who I spent time with. I didn't outright reject my close friends and family, but I worked to create a healthy boundary against negative behaviors or statements. I was so sensitive to protecting my mind against negative influences that when my wife and I started to really cut down our expenses and pay down our student loans, we actually kept it a secret for most people. I knew from experience that money was a sensitive topic, and though people might have been speaking with the best of intentions, Intentions, their money advice wasn't going to help us reach our financial goals. Some common statements that my wife and I had to constantly filter out were, you live one, so don't be so cheap. Everyone works a nine to five for at least 30 years. Do you think you're special? I love my new car. You should get one too. As you can guess, allowing these negative influences to seep into our minds can cost us millions in the long run. If I had continued to allow negative influence to dictate my thoughts and lifestyle, my wife and I would have never been able to pay down our debt in three and a half years, or confidently be able to shake away the label of being cheap. We like to think of ourselves as valuist. And most importantly, achieve financial security today. And if you'd like to get a jump start on your financial security journey, go to my website at financialtortoise.com and download your free copy of Santa Generation's Guide to Financial Security. 10 Steps to Securing Your Family's Financial Future. I also have a link in the description below. Recognizing and creating healthy boundaries against negative influence can literally change your life. So be extra cautious of whose voice you allow into your circle. So 
who should you be surrounding yourself with? Let me share with you a few common traits I see with individuals who go on to achieve extraordinary success in life and wealth. The hallmark of these individuals is their optimistic, positive mental outlook in life. You know when you meet them because you can feel their energy. These type of people lift you up. When a pessimist see a door and sulk that it is closed, these optimists don't just see a door that can be opened, they can't wait to open them. Some common quotes that you would hear from them are, I can't believe there are so many opportunities. They have an abundance mindset. Life isn't a zero sum game. Everyone can be a winner if they are willing to put in the work. How can we fix this? Unlike a pessimist, they're always solutions oriented. When they see a problem, they just see something that can and needs to be solved. We can do this. They're confident. Action is their default. Thus, they have goals and dreams that they're constantly moving towards. I am thankful. In balance with their confidence, they have gratitude. They focus on what they have and not what others have. Where do you want to be 10 years from now? They're long-term focused and constantly looking at ways to invest for a better future. This is a great trait to have an investor since you're willing to sacrifice today so you can allow compounding to grow your investment for tomorrow. When you surround yourself with these type of individuals, they have an effect of lifting you up. They help you solve problems, achieve your goals, and overall improve your life. So you may be asking at this point, that sounds great and I'll take, but how do I get these type of people in my inner circle? I don't know anyone like the people that you just mentioned. This is where I wanna share with you my little secret to building your ultimate inner circle. The fact is, when I realized I needed to change my inner circle, I struggled with the same thing. Where were all the amazing people I can learn from? And if they're so successful, why would they want to associate themselves with me? But that's why I realized that my solution was right in front of me. One of Charlie Munger's core operating system for life was this, learn deeply from the eminent dead. Charlie Munger commented that he frequently spent time conversing with the dead. If you go through life making friends with the eminent dead who have the right ideas, I think it will work better in life and work better in education. I've always been a book nerd, but I became even more obsessed with reading after this realization. I started to read many biographies and books written by great historical figures and thought leaders as possible. Today in my office, I have rows of books from which I consider now my inner circle. Though unlike Charlie Munger's Eminent Dead, many of them are still alive and well today. And they just likely wouldn't return my phone call if I was to reach out. But to me, they're cherished individuals whom I glean so much wisdom from. The following list is not comprehensive, but these are a few of the figures in my life who have really helped me to propel forward in life. Benjamin Franklin on personal development. Bob Iger on management. Dale Carnegie on effective communication. Dave Ramsey on paying down debt. Jill Collins on investing. Cal Newport on deep focus. Donald Miller on marketing. Dwight Eisenhower on perseverance. You may look around you and feel very alone. You may feel like no one you know shares the same passion that you do. However, the world's greatest minds are right at your fingertip if you just reach out. Reading the books of great historical figures and thought leaders have really helped me to shape my thoughts, perspectives, and possibilities. If you're struggling to develop better relationship with people, ask Dale Carnegie what you should do. He's always there for me, right on my bookshelf. Similarly, when I struggled with managing my team members, I would seek the counsel of Bob Iger. I know he was busy running a billion dollar corporation called Disney, but somehow he was always there for me when I needed his inspiration. If you're willing to put in the work of reading and learning, your inner circle can be made up of some of the greatest minds out there. The bottom line is this, if you desire to truly grow your wealth, your inner circle will have the greatest impact on your life. It's weird for me to say as a personal finance channel, but at the end of the day, it is in your budget, your tax saving strategies, or your investments that will make you wealthy. It is the knowledge that you'll gain from your inner circle that will really propel you forward in life. And if you're fortunate enough to have real people join your inner circle in your journey, share with them your imminent debt that you're already close with. The chances are that they likely have their own list of imminent debt that they had an impact on them as well. If you want a good starting place, check out my video on favorite personal finance books here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.